scary scary seriously it's a rainy morning today and despite the bad weather we are going down to Liphayan for some work I hope we will be able to explore Liphayan in the short period of time that we have because we'll be returning today and especially the governors came out there in Liphayan so hoping for the weather to clear out so that we will have a pleasant journey I'm feeling hungry I'm feeling hungry India are you feeling hungry yeah I'm feeling hungry we are in Marabani we are in Marabani now and we are fueling up the car <laughs> hey, we are feeling hungry. Feed us. Feed us, children, like Feed us food. We are feeling hungry. I will eat like a big children. <laughs> After a sumptuous lunch in Merabani in a Lotha hotel, we are heading to Liphayan now. We don't know the direction, the road leading to Liphayan. So, one, one of Yandren's friends has decided to come and pick us up midway. So it's all good now. We won't get lost. The roads here are spectacular comparing to Woka roads. Not only Woka, right? Nagaland roads. Yeah, Nagaland roads. I wonder when we are gonna get a quality road in Nagaland. Assam is just a neighboring state and they are so well developed when it comes to roads and infra infrastructure. Uh, I should say Nagaland government is trying their level best to, to give us better facilities but I think it's high time, high time they pull up their socks and, and work much harder than what they are doing now. So we have reached a bridge, a very long bridge which is constructed by with wood and bamboo. It's a long bridge. So uh, these people out here are telling us like the small car can pass through, but then the pickup which we are carrying stuffs for the farmers in Liphayan, it seems like it will be difficult for that pickup car to pass through. So. What we are going to do is, we are going to unload half of the load, half of the materials that we are carrying and we are going to we're gonna make two trips and that makes it easier for us and safety first, right? Just imagine constructing a bridge so long with wood and bamboo. It's fascinating, right? Yandongo is going through. Oh, it's a bit scary. Small car. It's okay. Six packs already and we have more to go. And I'm already sweating. I didn't do anything. Um, I'm just sitting here but I'm sweating like a pig. It's so hot down here. <laughs> Indigo has become the transit guy. Ooh, good job, good job, good job. Where'd you get the bike? Yeah, from my friend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this idea. Innovation at its at its best. How many bags more? Oh, 30 more to go. We are about to reach Lipaya in a while. And uh, one interesting fact about Lipayan area, Ralan area, Chambang area, this belt, uh, this belt is very rich in natural resources like petroleum products, coal reserves. So I should say like Naglen is a uh, Naglen in general and Woka district in particular. Uh, we should be glad that we have this um, God gifted natural richness and it is now up to us as to how we dab into the richness that is in our area for the betterment of our society for our well-being Hi. finally in Liphayan 
the unloading of the materials has started. Hot, hot happening. Hot, hot happening is very cold. <laughs> After this, we may go on a tour of Lipayan. I'm still sweating like a pig. It's very hot here. You know what? While the blocks are unloading the materials, we were just going around their compound and we came across so many varieties of plantations. Right, Indy? Right. These people are rich. These are money trees, children. Yeah. <laughs> These are money trees. See, <laughs> this is an uh, oil bomb. Yeah. I'm seeing it for the first time in my life. <laughs> oh, yep. And then we have coffee here as well. These are betel nut trees. And then we have lychee, lychee trees as well. And look at this. This is a biggery funded by IFAT. Yeah. So they have they have piglets. So they have bigger piglets, and then they have another bigger piglets. <laughs> oh, even the even that side also. That's a, another biggery. So oh, these people are rich. And then we have mango trees as well, lemon, we have, what do you call this? I, um, and then, on top of that, we have lime as well. I came across uh, a hybrid mango tree as well. Let me show you that. So talking about the mango, hybrid mango, see? The height is just my waist length. But it has got so many mango, mango that's coming out of this small tree. We are here in the famous governor's camp, but it is in a sorry state. It is not maintained. I shouldn't say it's not maintained properly. It's not maintained at all because the, earth, the place is fully covered with weeds. And where is the hanging bridge? You find down there. It's not over here. This is a rest house. No, the hanging this. bridge. Who comes and rests here? Nobody. Nobody will come and rest in this state of state of tourist tourist place. Actually, this governor's camp is constructed to promote tourism and for all those tourists that comes from outside to 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 rest. But, as you can see, it's in a sorry state. Ooh. And just below the governor's camp is a stone quarry. The place is beautiful. The landscape, everything is so good. Yes, Don't you think places like this should be... should be kept well? Yes, this needs intense renovation exactly mm. otherwise the location is very good compared to other areas and we are here at the foothill bridge what do you call this bridge foothill bridge yes it is a bridge connecting our foothill road but such is the condition of our road yeah no progress is made If this road was maintained, we wouldn't have to use Assam road, right? Yes, yes. I think this bridge was inaugurated by Deputy CM, or was it Nefrio? I don't know. This is the Doyang River, and this is a hanging bridge. This was inaugurated virtually. Oh, virtually. Hmm. This is the famous hanging bridge located here just below the governor's camp. This is a long bridge, more than 100 meters. I've come across pictures of this bridge many times in social media. Um, it's nice to come and experience it, see it physically with our with my own naked eye it's a long bridge it's constructed very well all in all it's a wonderful place the landscape the scenery the people it's a 
great spot for ecotourism as well because of the Doyang River. Um, we just need to tap in the potential that this place has to offer. So I wish, I wish it becomes a wonderful spot for ecotourism, water sports, and even the climatic conditions. Um, it varies from place to place. Wokha, Wokha main town is, uh, is a cold place. It's very hot here, so I'm pretty much sure there are plants, there are vegetations which grows very well in warm areas. So, um, as I said, we just need to tap in the potential of this place. So, cheers to Lipayan. It has been a wonderful trip, and I hope to come back here again. We are nearing the wooden bridge that we crossed earlier. I walked out. And now I'm going to show you how it feels like crossing this bridge in a car. Amazing, amazing. Wow. Scary, scary. Seriously. How do you feel, guys? Awesome. Nice. Wonderful. What a thrilling experience. Yeah, it's nice. Kudos to the person who who keeps a track of this bridge. Of course, we have to pay a few amounts, right? Yeah. But that doesn't really matter because as long as we have connectivity between two places, here we go. That's our experience. After a hectic day, we are back home. Uh, we were supposed to have dinner on the way, but then due to our work, we got delayed. So we, we, we brought everything home and we are having it here. It's a sumptuous dinner from Dipayan. Hi, people. I think it was good, children. Good night, everybody. Good night.